FTR versus Sting and Darby Allen. It's a Sting show, baby. Oh. Again. <laughs> FTR comes out in the Outsiders tribute gear in black and white. This a month after the New Day had the uh, Wolfpack black and red tribute. I'm hoping this leads to like 2.0 coming out and doing an Oz tribute. That'd be awesome. So they had a great tag match. Sting's the man. There, there was a point, like right after commercial, they got the heat on Darby to set up Sting's hot tag. And Darby is fighting for a hot tag, and FTR is playing keep away, basically. And I could have watched this for like an hour. I got about eight seconds of it. What I saw was great. So Sting looks great. And part of it is they don't put him in position to do anything that he can't do. Like the most physical thing he did in this match was body slams. Where FTR, who are awesome, run up and they go up easy, they go up light and they post and they get him up there and he looks super strong. Uh, and the Stinger Splash, I guess, counts as his super athletic move where he just jumps. Well, it's funny. Listen, I've been putting over Sting for 48 hours or whatever, 24 hours. But I mean, it was funny watching the Stinger Splash because on, on at least a few of them, they're very careful to shoot it from the ground up. Yes. So he like runs. Like you should do. Yeah. And you don't see that he actually barely jumps. Yeah. He just runs and it's like he's jumping over a pebble. But the way that they shoot, it looks like he gets all of this air, which I actually don't think he is. But I mean, listen, I don't want to take anything away from the guy because I've been putting him over for 24 hours. He's fucking amazing. I mean, he can run. He did one spot where he hit the ropes like three straight times. He does all of his spots. He takes all of his bumps. It's not like, you know... If I were in there, if I were playing the role of Sting, Darby's doing all the work. I do a quick comeback and I stand there, everyone runs into my fist. That is not what Sting did. They got heat on Sting. They they He was a setup guy for Darby's hot tag. Then Darby uh, tags him back in. He runs wild again. He's doing all of his stuff. He's moving. He's not. He doesn't get blown up. He oh. looks good. He's got the paint on, so you can't even tell he's old. I just thought Sting was great in this match. And obviously a large part of that is everybody that he's working with. But as I mentioned today, they had a match with uh, the Men of the Year. And Sting shined in that match as well. So you can't say it's only his opponents. He's pulling his weight in these matches. And he's doing a great job. So they do a spot near the end where uh, Dax picks up Sting for a tombstone. But he drops backwards and Sting lands on his feet. And in 1991, Sting would have pulled him up into his tombstone. It's 2021, so he went for the reverse DDT instead and got that. He puts on the Scorpion. And the final spot is Cash from the outside. is reaching in from the apron to try to grab Dax's uh, hands and pull him out of this hold. And so Cash is stretched out across the apron. Darby Allen goes to the top rope and turns his back and does a coffin drop. If you have not... If you have not watched this, or even if you have, go back and watch this. This was so effing brutal. He lands back-to-back -back on top of Cash on the apron, the hardest part of the ring, and he bounces, which means he turned Cash's body into a giant spring. Oh, that's painful. That looks so painful. Sting wins via tap out. Very, very fun match. Eric Tyler Mullins wants to know, if you had no restrictions at all in your diet, what food would you love to eat over and over again? Ah... Uh. Cup of noodles is my favorite. Your choice is cup of noodles? Uh-huh. Not a steak or escargot? Nope. Cup o noodles? Yeah, that's the only thing that doesn't upset my stomach. Well, I think the, the question, Granny, is if it didn't upset your stomach, if there were no consequences, you could just eat I, any I food. Still, I still say cup of noodles. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.